Some of Theo's uh, favorite toys are kept in here. So some of Theo's toys are supervision toys, which means he should be supervised with the toys. Um, he likes communion cups, to play with communion cups, and his mouse. So I will demonstrate. Hey, Theo, look what I have for you. Look. Okay, you want to go after your cup? No? Okay. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get into it. Other times I'm very excited. Yeah, look. He also knows he's being videotaped, so he's a little less interested. Um, but yes, he is allowed on the table. We'll pl I throw this, might as well go after it. Often he likes to sit right here like this and then I throw it at him and I throw it like just kind of above his head and he goes woo after it to get it. He's very fun and exciting. Okay, same thing with the mouse. Sometimes the mouse is even more exciting. Oh, not tonight. Um, there's sound from coming outside too. So he's, he's less interested, but that's okay. So those are super good in toys. He'll chew the communion cup, but we don't want him to do that. So it stays in here. He'll chew this apart and like eat the string wrapped around it. So it stays in there. Yes, Theo, it's true. Sometimes you're a bad boy. Um, yeah, strange noise coming from outside that Theo does not like. This is his cat dancer toy. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get him interested in this. He's very distracted right now, but sometimes he'll run. After this thing, he likes the sound on the floor. That's very enticing for him. And patterned rhythmic movements that he can, ex he knows when and it's gonna be where, so he feels more confident to run after it and jump after it. So again, he's distracted now, but normally he would run through this, and then as he runs through it, I kinda let go and like, let it go with him a little bit, as if he got it. Um, the laser toy, the big paw, push it twice to be a steady dot. And again, he is very distracted right now, but normally he will run after this over here. And if you like land it right here, half the time he will jump up onto the wall very high to get it. And then once he does that, you go, okay, good boy. And then bring it back around this way up into the top of the chair and he'll run to the top of the chair and like push on the chair. So it might kind of move a little bit, not a problem. And then once he does that, we kind of go back down this way, depending on how excited he is or not. Like he'll do this a couple times, maybe just once, maybe just twice, um, based on his interest. So punch it once, turn it off, and it lives right there. Final toy for Mr. Theo Crockett. We love him so much. He's our baby kitty. Um, and that's, he really likes being called a baby kitty. So I encourage you to call him Sweet baby kitty, Theo, we love you so much. You're our special boy. That will be very comforting to his ears. That's what he's used to hearing from his mommy and daddy master. So the final supervision only toy is this feather wand here. So it expands. And then Theo, when he's excited, will run after this to see if he has any interest in this. Again, anticipated movements are key. So like around in a circle, so he knows what he's getting and he might run after it. More on the floor, back and forth. And he's very distracted, so you're not getting the benefit of enjoying him, seeing him play. And then maybe over onto the couch. That can be really nice and exciting. Here, oh my goodness, it just fell behind the couch. That's really awesome. Woo! There it comes again. Normally he's running after this. It's very exciting. Um, and then you can put it away and return it to the closet. And that's how to play with Mr. Theo. Hope you have fun.